<laughs> Good morning. Welcome to a, another vlog. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> this thing, this camera gives him so much joy. It's such a shame that I can't just let him play with it. Oh, but look, look, look on this side. <gasps> Who's that? No. Okay. But if I did, I would have smudges all over the, <laughs> all over the lens. <laughs> Yeah, this is what it's been like recently. He's not the biggest fan of me these days. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if it's like that he doesn't like me at the moment or if he just really, really loves his mum because he's always calling after mum, 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 mum. <laughs> we think he's actually reached the terrible twos even though he's only just turning 18 months. It's been a lot of mood swings, tantrums and that kind of stuff. Little fridge magnets. Yeah. For the yeah, that could be bottom. quite fun for him. Yeah. yeah. You know those those like A B C. Yeah, but they're so letter tiny. magnets. Oh, that's. Just... We definitely need more magnets. Yeah, you did. What's that? Is that a monkey? No. No. Okay. <laughs> but what does a monkey say? Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ha, ha, ha. Honestly, this has been the longest he's been occupied with anything for. A long time. I think we've just cracked the code. <laughs> so, this is my breakfast today. A couple of eggs with a couple of extra egg whites, a little bit of pork, something on the side, and also a little overnight oats. So I've been posting a lot about my fitness journey on my Instagram recently, um, and it's been going pretty well, um, and I, I'm pretty happy. I'm more or less down to the same weight as when I did that little video, the, my weight loss journey video which is something because I actually over the Christmas period and stuff put on a bunch of weight and I had more to lose than afterwards so to be back down to more or less the same as what I got back down to that time is a pretty big win but I've been really focused now especially on the diet I've been weighing and logging everything and yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really focused and uh, it's nice to be seeing some results now. And I literally weigh and log everything down to the 10 grams of ketchup I put on my breakfast just to make it a little bit more, you know, palatable. I'd like to say a quick thank you to all the folks on Instagram that are following me that send me like reactions to my, to my uh, like weight updates. You don't have to shush him, it's okay. No, it's okay, his foot is stuck under the sofa. Oh, Leo got stuck under the sofa. What was I saying? People who were sending you reactions. Thank you. Yeah, thank you to all the people that are kind of motivating me on Instagram, sending the little flame reactions to my stories when I give my weight updates and stuff. It's really nice to like be, be supported in that way and it also helps keep me accountable. I want to update every week with you know a weight loss or some kind of goal that I have achieved so thank you and so my overnight oats is literally just oats uh, is it half a banana or a whole banana I think half a banana um, a little drizzle of honey a little bit of peanut butter and a scoop of protein powder so it's like a protein overnight oats it's nice but actually between Christmas and now I've tried a couple of different things like for example I did was it a week or, or something of keto, the keto diet, which is when you have a lot of fat and uh, quite low protein and low carbs, that did not work for me. I really like my, you know, protein food and stuff and I just, it just wasn't. For me. I think it was too strict. Whereas now I'm doing intermittent fasting. So if you don't know what that is, you basically fast for 16 hours, which includes like when you sleep. So 
you fast for 16 hours and then you have like a eating win window or a feeding window as they call it where you eat for your you know normal food for the eight hours then that's how i got down to like 105 kilos once um doing uh, intermittent fasting and i just find it really easy to stick to it suits my schedule suits my like gym schedule and uh yeah, I, I like it a lot. It's going to be a bit of a challenge now uh, with the new like restrictions here in Finland. Uh, the gyms are at like limited capacity. At my gym, you can only have ten people there at a time, and you've got to pre-book your your workout and stuff. So uh, the the willpower is going to be a little bit tested over these next few weeks. I think, um, especially when it comes to working out, if I can't book a time and stuff. So really hoping that I can do something outside the weather's getting a little bit nicer now there's certainly sunlight it's still kind of chilly but uh maybe we can do something outside we ordered the cleaner so he's come come through would you mind starting with the kitchen or the bedroom actually the bedroom's good it's got a bit of an attitude this, this <laughs> yeah cleaner. off you go off you go to work bye <laughs> So Leah's taken a nap now, so what Kat and I like to do is switch on the PlayStation and play a little game called Overcooked. When we first started playing, I used to call it Divorce Simulator because the aim of the game is you and your partner have to try and make the dishes that have come through as orders and you've got to make them together. So someone will be on the frying pan, someone will be on the chopper or something like that. And uh, yeah, you've got, to make, you've got to make the dishes together and if someone's too slow, <laughs> words can be exchanged. <laughs> but now we've gotten better at the game. We know how to communicate. We've got our little codes, like our, sh our shorthand codes for like different ingredients and what to do. So now we're pretty good. Yeah, we need a meat burrito. Can I have more rice as well? I just need a burrito burrito. Okay, next meat. Can I have rice? One meat, rice one meat, one meat, one chicken. Oh, hey. I need to do it first. Okay, dirty plates. Where's the Russia? Plate or one? Huh? Yeah, it's one oh, plate. Oh, you didn't give it to yeah. me on the conveyor. I can, I can fry that. Or should I just do rice? I mean, you can fry. You can do whatever, but in the dishes. It's ready. So I've got okay, two yeah. ready rices here. Yeah, can here. I have a rice? Yeah. Two on, the, on the belt. Thank you. Missed it. Yeah, but well, we got it still. Oh. Rice. I no, it wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. Was it not cooked that one? Oh. Smashed it. Three stars. So there you go. As you can see, Cat and I, pro gamers, pro overcooked players. Just waiting for overcooked to become an eSport. Then we'll, we'll win the big bucks. So Leah has been napping now for like two and a half hours. And nothing seems to be waking him up. Usually he's a really light sleeper, uh, but yeah, it looks like he needs his rest today. Problem is it's like 2.30, so if he doesn't wake up now, it'll be like 8, 8.30 by the time he needs to <laughs> go to bed for the night, and that's, that's no good, that's no point. Though. He's still sleeping. No, you're awake now, huh? Good boy. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am well and truly done with snow. I've said before that I like the winter, and I do. I really do. But man, last week we were kind of teased with some like plus degree weather, and I thought that was it. We are heading into spring. But this weekend has fallen like a couple more centimeters of snow, and uh, man. I'm done. I'm done with it. Makes me feel really sorry for the folks up in uh, northern Finland because, I mean, you guys have had the winter far longer than us down here. Oh wow, that's bright. And presumably, up in up in uh, Lapland and and places like that, the winter is gonna continue for much longer than it is down here as well. So, 
good luck to you guys up there. I just wanted to uh, kind of touch on a subject that I mentioned a couple of videos back and that was uh, when I had my little burnout. I just want to say a huge thank you uh, to the folks who left comments on that video and kind of shared your experiences with your own burnouts and kind of just gave words of support and stuff like that for me and I really appreciate it. Those comments really helped and I've had messages from people that have read the comments to that video and it's been really nice for them as well so uh, and helpful so yeah we've got good people watching these videos so that makes me happy but of course as we're heading into a whole new kind of lockdown period I guess we can call it or at least new restrictions here in Finland it's gonna be you know hard on all of our mental health so uh, you know stay strong guys it's gonna be hard over the next few weeks being being told to stay in and not being able to see uh, certain loved ones and stuff so you know stay strong we can get through it and spring will be here soon and that will help but something that has helped a lot with my mood is the the light situation the days are slowly getting longer and yeah for me that is a big bonus Whoa. so done with this stuff I really hope one day uh, I come along here and I see this, I think it's a coal ship here that's kind of docked here in, um, is this Yatkasari? I guess that side is Ruohalahti and I'm on Yatkasari. I don't know. But yeah, one day I hope to actually see that go. I guess it does. I've never not seen it here. But I'm still kind of taking things easy at the moment. I'm not really putting a whole bunch of pressure on myself to make videos. I'm just kind of making the ones that I want to at the moment. and. Uh, I've not got any kind of contractual obligations at the moment, so uh, that's also quite nice, not having to think about any sponsorship videos or something. And I can just make the, the videos that I want to make, and that actually makes me really happy. I'm going to make a whole video on like what it's like to be a YouTuber here in Finland. I think that may even be my next vlog topic. Uh, because yeah there's quite a lot that goes into it and if you think that sounds like a good idea please let me know uh, with a little like on this video that'd help and by the way for the people that are interested in what camera I'm using some people are like oh I'm really scared your drone is gonna fall into the ocean <laughs> yeah it's not a drone it's a 360 camera on a like a stick and the stick becomes invisible so I can move it around uh, and yeah that happens but speaking of vlog to topics if there's anything you'd like to know about me or from me or any kind of topic you'd like to see me or hear me cover in these videos let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I'll make a whole video about it maybe I'll make a little I don't know Q&A vlog uh, or something like that it'll be fun anyway that's about it for this video I hope the audio wasn't completely ruined by the wind and this lovely winter weather we've still got here anyway it's gonna be a rough few weeks ahead probably a little bit harder but we can get through it together I'll, I'll make as many videos as I can to keep uh, some of us occupied <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll get through it together. So stay strong and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.